What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Crash Lander Survival, and today we're going to actually, uh, just, you know, keep going with the base. I actually spent some time, I built myself all the good tools, so, uh, uh, we've got, like, you know, the regular scrap tools. Not really the great tools yet, there's still the power tools, as well as the sickle, but I even built myself a extra refining tool, the enhanced refining tool, uh, so we'll see what that does. I'm assuming it just makes us refine stuff faster, uh, but I had to build some metal one, you know, into some metal two. Not really hard stuff to do. We got ember, water, all that stuff. Easy enough to do. We can actually take water from the stream using the uh, the little watering can here. And then we can craft it into those water things. So it was all really, really easy to do. And I did start mining a bit of that chunk. You'll notice eight rock chunks out of 50 mined. So I started getting on that. Uh, but today, all we're going to do is we're basically just going to mine out the rest of that. And then I'm going to go to Mark and get the rewards for that. And then try and clear out the rest of this base, hopefully with that saw. Oh, speaking of which, does this axe mean I can chop down... Oh, I can chop down the big trees. Oh, well, that's that's just great. That is fant... Are you going to fall? There we go. Come on, tree. Come on, tree. Awesome. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, I definitely want to get the axe from Mark, though, because I'm pretty sure the axe is going to be a lot faster. It was like, or not axe, it was a saw, he said he had it, some sort of a saw. Uh, let's try the refining tool. We got a piece right here. Okay, so that's way quicker. That's nice. Get some scrap wood block, and, uh, while we're at it, I'm just gonna keep crafting all my scrap wood into regular wood on the carpenter bench. I feel like regular wood will be good enough to build a bunch of the platforms in the base with. Um, you know, it's what Cosmo and I did, and it's a pretty good building material. It's not super strong, like, it's only got a durability of three, so wolves and stuff will wreck it. But for the upper platforms, that's fine, because, uh, you know, they'll be way out of the way, and we'll just use, like, metal and stuff. Actually, what's metal two? Metal two's got a durability of seven. That's insane. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I should probably just go mine some chunks, though. Oh, that one went up. There we go. Boom. Timber. This is so good. I actually, I'm, I'm a really big fan of this. And we can replant all these trees too. I wonder if, you know, there might be a strategy there. I, I'm not sure. But if we plant trees like right next to each other, could we make a wall of trees? Because if we made a wall of these redwoods, then, you know, nobody can ever get in because they're, are they pines? Is that what they're called? Are they pine trees? I don't know. I call them redwoods because they're really big trees, but maybe they're pines. They don't look like pines doesn't it doesn't really i thought that was like a pine anyway it doesn't really matter but yeah we could like theoretically just build a wall of trees if they can grow right next to each other and if there's no gap between them i don't think like bots can destroy these i mean the red bots could in vanilla but i don't think like the wolves have the power to destroy these trees anyway there might be a strategy there i'm just gonna sleep and then we're gonna get to mining not all the rock chunks get detected as being mined. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Like, that one did, but I mined the first two and it didn't. So I don't... Or is it... Oh, hello, wolves. Well, look, I've got a scrap sword now. It doesn't... Or not a scrap sword. I've got a regular sword. That was a little bit more damage, I guess. Okay, maybe it's not the actual big chunks that get mined. Maybe it's just these chunks? And a 12? But the, do these chunks work too? No, those don't. So it's just like, just the, the chunks, not the biggest chunks, but when you break them down to the second size of chunk. Is that what it is? Does this one do anything? No, it doesn't. But if I break this chunk now, it does. Okay, so it's only these intermediate chunks that count as chunks. Very interesting. Well, I'm gonna mine for the next like 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, it should be fine. It shouldn't take too long. We'll get rid of all this entire thing pretty much and uh and then we should have hopefully 50 chunks and go talk to mark and get a power saw oh look at all the shinies look at all those shinies i uh, just finished haven't even mined out this whole rock node yet not gonna bother because we're gonna get better tools i think hopefully another side quest will give us an automatic mining drill but uh definitely gonna refine all of these shiny things it's amazing and then we'll probably go talk to mark and then maybe build a refine bot um, because, like, a refined bot might actually, might actually be a useful thing here. Or not the refined bot, the, uh, the smelter, the smelter bot thing. Because, apparently, it gives us better ratios when we're converting. Right now, we have to convert, like, metal plus coal to make metal one block. And it's just a really terrible ratio. We don't get a lot of metal one block for it. You actually, like, lose 
Uh, I think it's like 15 forms 10 or something like that, or I don't know. It's not, it's not great, so we should really build the smelter. But yeah, we're gonna need some collectors, of course, so we can actually start automatically collecting this stuff. Get some drills. I think it was Ivan has drills. We could probably make them too. Get some drill bits going, but really, I want to see what that saw is. Because Mark said, you know, for mining all these chunks, we get a saw. So I'm hoping it's like the power saw that lets us just chop trees super fast. That would be very, very convenient. All right, finish that up. No problem. Look at all those blocks. Lots of coal, which is nice. Uh, a bunch of metal. Still got some wood, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to take the car... And we're gonna actually go to Bill's house first because I'm running low on gas. Someone also pointed out in the comments that apparently there is an oil lake on the map by Bill's house. It's just, there's always an oil lake by Bill's house. I didn't know that. Apparently the desert by Bill's house has an oil lake. So we're gonna go check that out because if that's the case, we need to build an oil pumping station ASAP and turn it into, okay, it's not dark enough yet to sleep. And then turn it into like an automatic gas station. And they have that block in this game where it's like a gas pump. So if you drive up next to it, your vehicles will automatically fill up their gas tanks. So we could make like a big tanker system and all that. And it would be just wicked. We're going to just kill this wolf. Excuse me. Thank you. Grab that. Perfect. All right. But yeah, let's uh, let's set a waypoint here. The Bill's house. Done. And uh, we've got to still make some paths through the forest as well. It's dark enough now, right? Can I sleep? Yeah, perfect. All right, we made it to Bill's. So I might just jump in the water and go gather some oil uh, from from underwater there. But I just want to take a look. I don't see a desert area. Man, I could build a base up on this hill too. See, I cleared out all that area in the middle of the woods. But we haven't actually built anything yet. So if we're moving bases, now would be the time. I would be tempted to move if there was an oil pond. Because an oil pond is kind of... Oh my god, is that the oil pond? There is an oil pond. God dang it. Okay, that is... That is... That is an oil pond. Wow. Oh, man. Well, that's just... That's just wonderful. See, this is... This is like... You know, this is gold right here. This is what we want. Yeah. This is really... Nothing at the bottom of the oil pond. Yeah, this is really where it's at. I mean, can I pick up oil from the oil pond with like a bucket or something? Is there, let me see, chemical bench. Is there any ingredients to make gas from oil? No, there's no ingredients to make oil. I don't think I can bucket oil either. Let's see, is there anything in here? Oil, chemicals. I can make chemicals with that. No, no, no. Yeah, nothing I can do to make oil, but we could pump it. Wait. Hold on a minute. Can I even build a craft bot? That's actually a good point. How do you even do... Wait a minute. Because... Oh, yeah. Those craft bots here. I can't build it yet. Oh, wait. There's a craft bot here. No, it's an assembler. Okay. Chemistry station. Oh, these are like automatic versions of... Oh, that's carpenter -o bot. Oh, that's so cool. Metal manufacturer. So it's like an automatic version of the benches. Oh, that's so neat. So we need a smeltery for sure with brick and... Oh my god, these all take so much to make. Then an assembler takes a regular workbench, metal bench. Oh, that's so cool. Oh man, those are going to take forever to make. A smeltery we could possibly make now with the stuff we've got. Okay, that's wicked cool. Well, shoot, there is oil here. But there's no water here, which is like, let's go up top and just take a look real quick. If there is a pond of water up top, this is like the ultimate base location. You get oil, you get water, get an automatic gas system going. Otherwise, we'll just build a gas pump out here in the desert. That's like, I'm totally fine doing that too. This is nice. Look at this little spot up here though. So you could, oh, I'm so, this is another like wicked base location. Because you put your farm right up here and your base up here. And the only thing you would have exposed that you would have to defend is your oil pump. And you just surround it with like metal three and have it pump up with a tube and like you're done. And nothing, nothing can attack this base. But there's no water. So to grow crops, you need a water truck. Man, I just, I just found a base location too. And then, and then this happens. And then this is, oh man. Oh man, I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not going to build a base this episode, so this is actually a great idea. You guys, let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to put a pinned comment, and you're all going to vote on the pinned comment. 
and let me know if you think we should move to the oil pond area or we should stay where we are. Anyway, let's uh, let's go to Bill's. I'm just gonna go gather some oil from the you know the ocean floor at Bill's place. I like the base in the woods. I think it's really cool. I think it's a nice little like secure base, and uh, especially once we get you know a whole uh, a whole farm area set up there, it'll be great. And it's a nice central location between both Bill's and the HQ, which we seemingly have to go to a lot. So we just need some roads going in and out of the forest to make it easier to get to. And, uh, and it'll be fine. But yeah, I think I think the oil pond is definitely just going to be something that we set up a pumping station at. Pump oil out, load it up onto a truck, and uh, and then transfer ourselves back to the main base. And everything will be glorious. What's up, Bill? How you doing? You probably don't even have dialogue for me, but I'm going to go check anyway. Where? Oh. Oh, Bill's waypoint's up there. Where are you at, Bill? Oh, hey, Bill. How's it going? Yeah, you just want to trade. What can you trade for? Bill does trade for oil. What do you trade for oil? Copper block for only 10 oil? Bro, that's the worst ratio ever. 40 copper block for 10 oil? Is it... Do you even trade for... Do you trade for gas straight up? No, you just... Oh, that's terrible, dude. That's like the worst ratio ever. I can go get 10 oil in like literally three seconds. Right off the shore of your house. Look, there's 10 oil right there. Between like these five nodes, 10 oil, bro. Come on, Bill. You're ripping me off, man. Look at that, Bill. In one day, I got 69 oil, and you have a cow problem. Yeah. How does that feel, Bill? I got so much more than you, and I'm gonna... Look at this. Right in front of your house. Oh, I can build explosives. Ooh, still need glow poop for explosives. But yeah, right in front of your house, Bill. I'm gonna make a lot of gasoline. Actually, 10 oil. That wouldn't even make 7 gas. That's like the worst ratio ever. All right. Let's go over to the Forterra HQ again. You know, back to there. And uh, we're gonna go and talk to Mark. Get ourselves some power tools. And then we're gonna sort of clear out the base area. And then we can start building a platform, maybe build a refine bot. I think I have enough material to build a refine bot now. That'll be nice. And, uh, or not a refine bot, the smeltery bot. Then we can smelt materials at a better ratio, hopefully. It's kind of cool that there's automatic versions of every workbench. It means we could actually have a car that has workbenches on it if we need to, and then have the automatic versions at the base. Although I gotta kind of see how the automatic versions actually work. I'm assuming they're just set up that way so you can hook them into like, you know, your chests and stuff and have them function kind of the way the craft bot did where it would pull from the inventory automatically as it needed stuff and then deposit it on the other side. But I mean, we'll have to see. I have no idea and we'll have to build all of them obviously to see what we can actually do. And it's going to be kind of interesting because this crafting system has like sub products and then final products. So you almost need a system that you know, takes the initial stations, takes raw resources, turns it into, like, the sub-products, and then takes those sub-products and, you know, crafts them into, into bigger products, and you'll have to sort of build a kind of assembly line of crafting stations, but we'll have to, you know, they're extremely expensive, so it's gonna take a bit. We're gonna start with just the, uh, the smelter, though. I think that's probably the right way to go, and, of course, start building ourselves a bit of a base platform up on top of that rock in the middle of the woods, so everything should be glorious. I really need to build some roads, though. Like, roads with waypoints. Every time I come back here, I'm taking a different route, and it's it's sort of always terrible. All right, Mark, where are you at? Ivan's probably in the garage. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, Mark's probably upstairs. I gotta, I gotta tell you something. I mined some chunks, bro. Oh, who are you? hi, Ivan. Okay, bye, Ivan. Where's Mark at? Where is... Not in here. Probably upstairs more. Mark, I want the pa Yeah, what's up, buddy? I'm not your average mechanic. I am the best mechanic. Yes, I'm done already. It's only been one day. Boom, you gave me batteries. Are you serious? Oh. Oh my god. I He gave me the power saw. I thought for sure the power saw like, glitched into the wall there. And I was like, no way did we just lose the power. Thank god that didn't happen. Alright, now we got the power saw. 0%! Wait, do I have to put batteries in it? Do I, I... How do I put... How do I put batteries in the power... Do I... I don't understand how this works. I guess while we're here, too, let's see if there's other... I know Mark has other side quests. You got other side quests, right? Bring food crates to Bill. Reward 256 metal, 128 coal. Bring 256 copper blocks. Sure, I'll do that one next. No worries. Do I have 256? Oh, wow. Look at that. Not at all. I'm happy to be of help. There we go. Thank you very much. Give me all that component kit stuff. Perfect. And then uh, food crates to Bill. Sure. Bring the crates to Bill. 
Okay, where are where are said crates? We gotta go back there anyway. We're on the bottom. Are the crates in the garage again? Oh my god, there's three of them. Can I open the garage door? No. Okay, let me grab some gas. Collect some gas. Still can't... Still can't... Oh. Oh, I just had to actually click the saw. It automatically reloads when it's out of it. Oh, okay, interesting. It does consume a battery. So I have to have batteries in my inventory. Cool, it works. I got 15 component kits. Amazing. It's so good. So much... Okay, we're, we're like out of space. Yeah. I'm gonna throw out my scrap tools. They're just a waste of space, and I don't feel like we're ever gonna use them again. Let's put gas in there. Let's craft more gas. Collect these. Craft more. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... I don't think we're gonna need scrap tools. And I'm pretty sure we can rebuild scrap tools, right? Oh, that's right. I got all this wood going. Let's make more wood. There we go. Very important. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I can just rebuild scrap tools for, like, almost nothing. So we're fine. Cool. Let's put some crates up. I like the power tool. I just knocked myself... Really? But yeah, the power tool is sick. That that thing's awesome. So there we go. Let's put a crate up there. Grab another crate. Perfect. Just loading up the truck for Bill. Apparently I gotta bring Bill three food crates. And then I probably have to come back and collect the reward from Mark over here. Doesn't really matter. It was like copper block and something. We can come back and get that later. Alright, Bill. I got more food crates for you. It should feed you for the next like six years. This is a lot of this is a lot of produce, Bill. I don't think you can eat this all on your own, but you'll be fine. Here you go. It's probably going to go bad, honestly. I didn't see a fridge in your house. Uh, bring the crates to Bill. I did. Here's some... Do I talk to Bill? I think I talked to Bill. I really need to build a car. I can't always rely on you. No problem, man. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have a truck soon. Oh, this is great. Bill gives me the reward. Sweet. Okay, perfect. More Metal 1. That's that's actually really good. We got a lot of Metal 1. Going to need to make this into some brick. Um, let's see here. What do we actually need... To build the uh, smeltery bot thing. So that is this guy. We need 65 brick, 35 metal block 2, 2 vacuum pipe connectors, and 2 circuit boards. Okay, so we definitely have enough circuit boards. No problem. I got a little bit of brick in there. Let's grab our component kits because I think I need to build vacuum pipe connectors. I got one vacuum pipe connector. Okay. Uh, more batteries. Let's just grab all our batteries so we can use the power tools. And that's it. That's all we've got. Okay. I don't have any extra brick, really. I used up all my brick block. Used up all the brick block. Alright, so let's build some stuff. So first we need a little bit of brick. We'll just build a bunch of that. Done. Then we also need another vacuum pump connector piece. This guy, done. Can build one of those. Um, what else did we need? We needed... Oh, let's wait for this to finish. There we go. Done. And then this needed metal 2. Okay, can I build more metal 2? I need more water and I need more embers. Apparently you guys were saying too I can build embers somewhere. Uh, let me collect all this. I imagine building embers would be like burning wood. Chemical station. There we go. Embers. You need chemicals to make embers. Uh, we're just going to grab embers. There's like literally an ember place on the way back so let's just go back to our base there and uh i can start cleaning up a little bit of stuff and yeah like it, we can just grab them that's not going to be a big deal die wolves nobody nobody likes you i don't think they die when you hit them with a car though all right 15 embers that should be more than enough and then i'm pretty sure the base is like right in here we just drive into these woods all sketchy like and just kind of drive right on through. This is why we need a road. Definitely need to clear myself a path here. Yeah, it's right here. Look at that. Here's the back of that node. Perfect. Then we come in here. Excellent. Yeah, definitely going to make a road through here. All right. Let's uh, let's put this back over here in the middle. Just keep it on the lift so we can defend it from wolves. And let's craft ourselves a bit more wood. We're going to have a lot more scrap wood in a second here. And let's grab ourselves this. Can we make a refined bot now? No, we need... Oh, more brick. Okay, so let's make more brick. And then, of course, we need metal too. Which we should be able to make... We need water. Okay, I have a little bit of water in here. There we go. Done. Make some metal too. And then if we need more water, which we can easily get, we grab the bucket. The little 
thingy ma bobber. We go over here to our water supply. Nice little river. Wonderful. This is awesome. I really, really like this mod. It's so cool. There's just so much, like, depth to it now. Um, no, that's not where I make water. No, this is just wood. That's fine. Make more of that. Perfect. Lots of wood one. It's gonna be pretty much our primary base building material. I'm not gonna lie. Wood one is just the way to go. Um, no, that's, that's... Hold on a minute. Need that. Where's the, where's the water thing? I think I make it here. Yeah, here. Water. This turns into six water. And it gives you your watering can back once you collect it, which is super sweet. Kind of the way buckets work. All right, so now that that's done, let's uh, see what this does. That's pretty good. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is this is the way to... Oh my god, this is amazing. This is definitely how you refine trees quickly. It's gonna... I'm gonna chew through batteries like mad. But this is... This is awesome. Like, the power saw? Oh my god, this is... This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is... This is how we chop trees. Hunter... Oh my... This is awesome. This is... I need more power... I need to get the automatic mining drill now. There's gotta be a side quest that gives us the mining drill. Like, for sure. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm... I got the lumberjack achievement. I'm not even surprised. Now it's just gonna take forever to refine all this stuff. But, oh my god... Yeah, yeah, this is sweet. Original is base survival, vanilla survival needs some needs some freaking power tools. This, look, why would I even need? I don't even need a vehicle. I don't think building a mining vehicle is better. If the mining drill works the same way as this, I'm not gonna build a mining vehicle. I'll definitely build a refining vehicle, like a vehicle that picks up all the little things and refines them. But honestly, we just go with some power tools and batteries, and we're just we're just shredding. Like this is great. I mean, you could build a sawmill, I guess. The only time... I guess you could make an automatic mining thing. The, the problem with the, the drills and the mining blades, the saw blades and scrap mechanic, is it's hard to line up sometimes on the part you're trying to cut. This is just easy. But I'm going to run out of batteries so fast. I can already tell. This is going to be... This is going to be a very, very quick way to drain all your batteries. But we just need a generator. We just need a generator that can build us batteries, you know, and then we're good to go. Everything's just... It's just the circle of life. This is awesome. Yeah, this is so efficient. Just super quick. All right, let's see here. Do we have... I think we got enough metal too now with that to make the smelter bot. No, 35. God dang it. I still need more. All right, that's fine. We got more here. There we go. That's more coming. And we'll get that going. I love how the saw ramps up too. All right, I should probably I should probably honestly start refining some of this stuff. Kind of unfortunate. This is going to take a while. Is there a refinery bot? Hold on a minute. There's definitely this. Okay, there's that bot, the smeltery. There's a metal manufacturer assembler carpenter bot. How do you get Oh, there is a refined bot. A refined bot. Okay, but the refined bot hit you collecting all your collected logs. With the logs next to it. Yeah, so I can build a resource collector and I could build a refine bot. Okay, so we could... We could get... Go oh, that's 65. What does it take to make a metal drill bit? We got the component kit. 65 metal block 2. We should be able to get that metal block 2. Because we do have a lot of metal block 1. Oh, and I could make a lot more metal block 1 as well. Look at all that coal and stuff. Okay, so we should be able to get a refine bot. What, is, um, what does it take to make a metal drill bit? Is the question. Drill bit. Oh, six. Oh, easy mode. Okay, let's let's get a, let's get a refine bot going. I'm not gonna refine all this by hand. That'd be so much easier if I just get a refine bot. I need another chest too, because we'll need a chest slapped onto the side of it. Let's sleep through night here real quick. Oh my god, there's so much. There's so much stuff everywhere. It's great. I love it. So much to clean up. All right, there we go. And let's grab this craft bot, smeltery bot. Okay, you have to pick it up. It's like the other bot, and I can put it's huge. It is massive. Oh boy. Okay, what can you make? Metal, you make it for six and tw or seven. Twenty and twenty and seven makes twenty-five. Ten and seven makes twenty. Oh. Ten and seven makes twenty. That is really, really good. This is ten and ten makes fifteen. Oh man, that is way more efficient to do it in this thing. Can you make the advanced metals too? You can. 
And this makes 15. I'm assuming this is just better as well. Ember, water, yeah. Everything, everything's just probably better in this. That's awesome. All right, and we can, of course, hook this up into automation. It's got a port coming out. Oh yeah, and it has a port going in as well. So it's got two. That's sweet. So we can hook it up to automation as well. That is, that is great. That is fantastic. I'm starting to get a hang of where the stuff is to craft, but there's a lot of things you gotta, like, you know, you gotta remember where everything is. All right, we're grabbing all this. Perfect. Make some metal too. No, I need the water from this. Collect that. There we go. Now I can make some metal too. Done. That's great. Making a lot of metal too. Okay. Oh, we needed a drill bit as well, right? To make our fine bot, we need a drill bit. More metal block too. And we need a vacuum pipe connector piece. Okay. Can I make one of those? I can. We'll make one of those right away. Uh, I can put the circuits away, I think, for now. We don't need those. Need more of this. Do I need glue? Why do I have glue in my inventory? Why does it sound like something's getting attacked? Is that, the, is that just the refined bot? The smeltery bot, I mean? Probably just the smeltery bot. Refine, make more of that. Oh god, here we go. This is it. We're, we're crafting now. This is sweet. Okay, and then this. Make more water. Gonna need more water to make more metal too. The refined bot's pretty slow. I'm not gonna lie, or the smeltery. I keep calling it a refined bot. It's a smeltery. The smeltery is pretty slow. Like it, it makes you a lot of blocks, like 25 blocks, but I think the workbenches do it in 10 seconds, whereas the refinery does it in 18. Or the smeltery, I mean. I keep calling her refinery. I don't know why I'm calling her refinery. I'm just so used to having a refined bot as the first bot. But yeah, so we're definitely gonna need probably multiple smelteries hooked up into our base if we want to really do stuff quickly. But honestly, I mean, to be honest, it, it only really matters when you're building stuff. If you have a bunch of stuff like pre-set up, you're probably fine. I honestly should probably be not building with this wood either. Like, I should be building, waiting until we get the carpenter bot. It's probably going to give me a better ratio. But we need wood to build a plot. Honestly, wood's going to be so easy to come by. We can replant trees. It's not even a problem. Let's just chop more trees while we're waiting here. All right. Got the collector. Done. Just put that down there for now. And let's make a refined bot. We are still missing... Oh, hold on. Grab our drill bit. There we go. And we're still missing a bit of metal too. How much metal too? We need another 40, basically. Now we're cooking. This is gonna be... Oh, wait. I need a chest. The refined bot needs to be hooked up to a chest. That's right. This chest is full. We're just gonna need more chests anyway. All right, let's put some... Ah, oh, everything just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, what do we need for a chest? That's that's right. We need like 17 parts for the chest. So we need the uh, the bottom piece, which needs a cage. We can build a cage. We need pipes. Do we have pipes? I got four pipes here. Do I have more pipes on the other side? I got more pipes over there. All right, perfect. So we need a cage. Done. Let's make two cages while we're at it because it seems like cages are always needed. Let's put our pipes back. And then I also need to make the chest lid. Done. And then the chest base, once we get that cage, we'll make that. What the heck is this? Empty delivery sled? Toolbox? Has four slots. Purely decorational. Has four slots. Interesting. Interesting. We could actually store stuff in a delivery sled. That's cool. All right, so we can make a chest there. And then we need three of these in order to make that into an automated chest. Because, you know, we just need automated chests all the time. And that's perfect. Then we can put all this stuff away. And probably put the component kits away. And there we go. Let's grab that part. Alright, we got our refine bot now. Sick. This is just as bulky as I remember it. That's great. Let's put this, uh, let's see. If I put this here, can I do that? Will that work? And then just slap this guy, like, right there. And then we'll just slap a chest on the other side. This should work, right? If we just drive over some stuff. Yep, that works. It's very, very bulky. You can feel how slow the vehicle is. But that's fine. We're, we're gathering stuff automatically, so this is perfect. Grind that down. Get the pieces done. Three more seconds. Build another chest. This is super. Now it'll be auto-refining. Auto this is like next level scrap mechanic. We went from zero automation at the beginning of today to like not much automation but kind of a little bit of automation. It's enough for me to get excited, okay? You know, it's it's enough for... Wait, is it... Oh, yeah, that's right. The refinery's full. But it works. This is great. This saves us all the refining time. I kind of feel stupid now because I built, like, the upgraded refining tool. 
And, you know, that gives us faster refining time. And now we're literally not going to use it at all. Because we're just going to just gonna use this. But, you know, it's okay. Sometimes we might need to manually refine something. So at least we'll have a tool for it, right? Collect this. Slap this guy on the side of that. Like so. Just want it flat. Perfect. And uh, now I'm just going to dump, like, blocks into here, honestly. There we go. And then I'll just fill up with more blocks. Perfect. Put this back in here. Done. Grab the rest of the stuff out of here. We'll save that for later. Dump that. Awesome. Awesome. Now we're auto-refining. And I'm just going to keep chopping trees. Until we run out of batteries. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. A little bit of a grinding episode. Uh, got some progression though, which is super good. I think next episode, we'll start actually building the base platform. The vehicle is now kind of super heavy with all the stuff on it. So probably time to build a base platform and we'll have lots and lots of wood which is good once I finish going through all these trees and uh yeah we'll we'll build up a platform on top of this maybe connect it over to there and just build like a big section in between those two not exactly sure yet uh, I do want to try and I guess that tree is what gives us all the shade I, I don't like the fact that this base is really just constantly in shade it's my only kind of gripe with it there's no sunny spots but I think it's literally because this tree blocks it, and then even more so the, the next tree in front of that. There's literally just two big trees that we'll never be able to chop down. But either way, we'll put up a lot of lights. It'll be fine. Scrap mechanic lighting is super good. And, uh, yeah. It'll be a wonderful time. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna spend another six hours now just grinding all this stuff and letting the refine bot go. But we should be loaded in terms of resources when we're done. And uh, it'll be base building time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you all next time.